Pixies go to fixie schools and study to be masters. There's so much they need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Batteries. Oh, my little lemon, just you wait. One day you'll be a strong and splendid tree. <laughs> She's talking with a flower pot. <laughs> oh, you scared me. <laughs> Do you like it? Like what? My seedling. Don't you see? It will grow into a huge tree. And there, amongst the green leaves, will be beautiful yellow lemons. Class! From that thing, lemons? <laughs> oh, yeah! It'll grow into a tree. All it needs for that is to gather energy. Get energy from where? From our sun! <laughs> the sun? It'll be so slow. Oh! Batteries would be faster than the sun. Batteries? I really don't think so. Tula. Do you know how much energy they have? Let's just bury a bunch of those batteries in here, and you'll be watching your lemon plant shoot up into a tree. Are you positive? Absolutely. And where can we get the batteries? Over there. Professor Eugenius has a whole box full of them. Ton. Batteries, batteries. They give power to appliances so they can run. the first lemons before the week's over. The first battery in the world was made in Italy more than 200 years ago. When two different kinds of metal were placed in salty water, electricity started flowing through a wire from one piece of metal to the other. Many years have passed since then, but batteries still work in pretty much the same way. Today, you can find batteries being used for electricity just about everywhere. Tiny batteries are used inside of wristwatches, while big batteries can power cars and even ships. With new batteries being produced by the millions, we have to think, how should we get rid of the old ones? You can't just throw away batteries because they'll poison our soil and water. The best way to dispose of batteries is to take them to a special collection station that sends them to factories for recycling. Yes, yes, it's a terrible idea to bury batteries. You can kill any plants that are growing there. <gasps> and this is the very reason why Professor Eugenius puts all of his used batteries in that box over there, so he can dispose of them properly. Hey, where are they? Oh, my seedling, we harmed you. What? Where are the batteries? They're in the flower pot. How come? So the lemons would grow faster? From the batteries? Who came up with that idea? It will die! Hurry! We gotta go save it! Hm, the soil's contaminated. We've got to find a new home for the seedling. But where? Over there. There's a pot with healthy soil. Let's do it! Batteries! Batteries!
dry Tula, the seedling will be perfectly fine. It will grow big and strong with branches full of beautiful lemons and oranges. And watermelons. It's a lemon tree fire. Will you ever stop going too far, like with the batteries? Well, anyhow, batteries are cool, right? Look how many appliances can't work without them. You're right. Appliances can't work. Look, the seedling's coming back to life. <gasps> it really is. Tula, tell us, isn't it splendid? <gasps> splendid. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to, to see, see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The magnifying glass. Case number one. Let's begin. Well, well, I see evidence of the criminal. The criminal's fingerprints, to be exact. He won't get away with it. Why do you think she's just looking at us instead of chasing us? Oh, maybe she can't see us and we're invisible. Then how come I see you? Simka, Nolik, be careful. Don't destroy the tracks. What kind of tracks? Whose tracks are they? Shh. I have to solve a crime. A crime? What kind? Someone stole a wing from this plane, but I'm on the trail. Take a look at that fingerprint. I'm looking. Well, and so? Each fingerprint is unique, so if you can find fingerprints, that means you have a good chance to find out who left them. Class! It's been known for quite a long time that all humans have their own unique fingerprints. It's true! No two people have the exact same fingerprints, and this fact helps the police catch criminals. It starts by finding fingerprints at the scene of the crime. Then the police compare those fingerprints with the fingerprints of someone who may have committed the crime. If they match, they found the criminal. This method is called dataloscopy. Besides catching criminals, fingerprints can also be used to replace ordinary keys. When you press your finger against a special electronic lock, the lock recognizes your fingerprint, and then it's, please come on in. By the way, unlike humans, we fixies don't leave fingerprints anywhere. And that's why even the police can't find us. Now we'll put a dog on the scent of the criminal. Chusaka, sniff. Pick of the trail. Now go find. Hey, what's wrong? Chusaka's broken. We've got to fix her then. How? She's not a vacuum cleaner. She's a real live dog. Fixies know how to fix it all. Not true. Almost all. The first thing we have to do is a thorough inspection. Let's see now. Her eyes are looking quite healthy. Good. Tails in one piece. Ears are clean? Yeah. Tongue, rosy pink. Tom Thomas, stand her up on all four feet. No, paws, I mean. Uh-huh. Chusaka, <laughs> go on, you're fine. Now I understand. Here's what's out of order. It's her right paw. But I can't see what's wrong. I wonder if something's broken on the inside. Wait. Maybe something really small is stuck in her paw there. Tom Thomas, we need your lens. Here. In order to examine a small object, you need a lens. A magnifying lens is a special piece of glass that is thicker in the middle than on the sides. It bends the light that passes through it. And that is why if you put this kind of lens between your eyes and something small, it looks like the thing got bigger. If you put two lenses in a frame, you get a pair of glasses. And if you add a handle to the lens, you get a magnifying glass. There it is, a splinter. It's glass.
glass, I think. Looks like it. Uh, you're right. It's possible it's from the lamp in the hallway. It broke yesterday, and I guess not every little piece got swept up. Chusaka, hey there. You're all better now. Looks like we fixed her. Tanish, she's all repaired and working. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have cured an ungrateful dog. Ah! Simka, no look, here it is. The wing that was lost. Yeah, that's great, only you still have to figure out who hid it underneath the bed there. Yeah, you still need to match the fingerprints. The fingerprints on the wing are the same as on the plane. But whose are they? And did you check your fingerprints out? Huh, all the fingerprints are mine. So I guess it was really my own fault. I just lost it somehow. <laughs> so it turns out that you were the criminal? Hooray! The crime's been solved! <laughs> and you, Tom Thomas, are the criminal! <laughs> Please don't let their secret out.